A sensational second half display from the Blues sees them beat Arsenal by four goals to one in the UEFA Europa League final. Watch until the end of this review to hear all of my thoughts on yesterday's match. Champions, champions, ole, ole, ole. Champions, champions, ole, ole, ole. <laughs> Hello, people. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. This is my review of the game which took place yesterday in the back of the Olympic Stadium in Azerbaijan in the UEFA Europa League final, which Chelsea obviously won by four goals to one. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly, I'll be giving you the lineup that Mauricio Sarri fielded at the start of the game. Then I'll be giving you my thoughts on the match itself. And lastly, I'll be doing things a little bit differently. I'll be giving you my thoughts on the overall campaign and how I think we did. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So getting straight into the lineup that Maurizio Sarri fielded at the start of yesterday's match, and as always, starting off with the formation. <laughs> yes, it was a 4-3-3 with that deep line playmaker involved, and in terms of the in terms of the personnel in which he went with, sorry I cannot speak very well. Um I'm still overwhelmed by the fact that we actually won. But yes, getting straight into the personnel in which Maurizio Sarri went with. He went with Kepa in goal. He went with a back four from right to left of Cesar Aspilicueta, David Luiz, Andres Christensen and Emerson Palmieri. He went with a midfield three of Jorginho in that deep line playmaker role with N'Golo Kante and Mateo Kovacic just ahead of him. And he went with a front three from right to left of Pedro Rodriguez, Olivier Giroud and that man himself. Eden Hazard. So that was the lineup in which Maurizio Sarri fielded at the start of yesterday's match. Now for my thoughts on the match itself, and as always, starting off with the first half. I thought that was a fairly frantic start um, from Chelsea. They kept giving the ball away. Although to be fair, Arsenal did press us high up the pitch, and that was probably why it was such a frantic start from Chelsea. We struggled to get up the pitch due to Arsenal's press. Um, I think that Arsenal did, they did have a few chances in the first 20 minutes. They didn't put them away. Um, we couldn't really get up the pitch because of Arsenal's press. So there wasn't much coming for us or coming from us in the first 20 minutes. But as the first half went on, we grew into the game. Um, Arsenal's press, um, they didn't press as much in the latter stages of the first half. Um, we created more and we subsequently created more chances. But yeah, um, we could have scored and so could have they. They could have scored as well, if that's a, an appropriate way in which I could re rephrase what I just said. But yeah, overall, I thought the first half was even. Both sides can argue that they should have gone into half-time um, with the lead. But yeah, we. you can argue. I think that we, in a way, were fortunate to go into half-time with... Um, with. I think that we were fairly fortunate to go into half-time on level terms because you can argue that Arsenal did have the better chances, but who knows. But yes, it was fairly even in my opinion. But getting into my thoughts on the second half now, we completely, oblit we completely obliterated Arsenal in that second half. I don't know what was said at half-time, but we came out a completely different team. We looked more free. We looked as if we could express ourselves more. The first goal, absolutely brilliant. Kovacic, I thought, had a better second half than he did. Um, I thought his performance in the second half was a lot better in the first half because he kept giving the ball away. But yes, um, in the second half for me, he, he didn't set a foot wrong. He gave the ball to Emerson, crossed it in. I mean, then Emerson crossed it in for Olivier Giroud to head into the back of the net. His celebration was muted, of course. It was against his former club, but we don't care. We don't care. It was a good goal, and it put us into the lead. The second goal was scored by Pedro Rodriguez. I cannot remember who gave the ball to Eden Hazard, but Eden Hazard received the ball. He then gets into the box, and he passes it with his dominant right foot, and Pedro just fires it with his weaker left foot into the bottom corner. The keeper couldn't 
have done any better with that. So you can't really blame Petacek for that. But yes, that was our second goal. And then our third goal was obviously the penalty, which was tucked away by Eden Hazard, as you'd expect from him. Did did Petacek with the eyes, and that was 3-0. Then Alex Wobie got a consolation goal, you can argue. Good volley. Cannot remember who took the free kick now. But yes, it was a free kick from the um, left wing position. Whipped in. We struggled to get it out. And then it fell to Alex Awobi and he just volleyed it, volleyed it into the top corner. Kepa had absolutely no chance with that. And to be honest, you can't blame him because not two keepers wouldn't have gotten rid of that ball. Two keepers wouldn't, wouldn't have stopped that ball from going, go, from going in. And in our fourth and final goal, I believe was assisted by William. Eden Hazard gets his brace and he just puts the, by putting the ball into the bottom corner. And if that's his last game, that would be the perfect send-off. And for me, I can't even pick a man of the match because if all of our players turned up, all of our players turned up, particularly in that, especially in that second half, because we were absolutely incredible in that second half. I don't even know what to say anymore, but that's it for my thoughts on the match. Now to conclude this review, I'm going to give you my thoughts on Chelsea's overall campaign and how I think we did. To be honest with you guys, it's been an absolutely great campaign. We've had some brilliant games, we've had some not so brilliant games. I'm not going to go through all the games because that will take me ages and I don't want to keep you guys here for long. But yes, I think that we thoroughly deserve to win the competition. When the group stage, um, when the group stage, I mean when the groups were being done, i.e. when the group stage draw, draw can't even speak when the group stage when the group stage draw was being done there we go i did say that i think we will win the competition and that's exactly what we did and it's especially fitting that we did so against arsenal because they've they've taken the absolute piss out of us in a lot in the last couple of years or so um especially in that 2017 fa cup final now i know that's a completely different competition but it was only right that we put put that to bed with a with a with a cracking win because that performance yesterday, especially in the second half, it was absolutely great. It was it was, it was impeccable. It was it was a stellar performance. But yeah, the overall campaign was great. Thoroughly thoroughly deserved to win the competition. I thought we we were by far the better side on the day. Um, we took our chances in the second half. To be fair, we could have had more. But yes, um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When we when we when we played the second leg, I thought we were going to go out, yeah, I'm but I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad we showed resilience and got ourselves to the final and actually got ourselves in a position to win the competition. But yeah, that's all I can say. Yeah. Let me know what your thoughts on the overall campaign are, and I'll do my best to respond. But that is the end of this review, and that is the final game of this season. Um, I will be doing some videos next season, so stay tuned for that. Can, I'll probably be covering some friendlies as well, so stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know. But yes, thank you all for watching. Yeah, nice. Chelsea are the Europa League champions yeah, of 2019. Right. I'll see you all very soon. Come on, you blues, and peace.